A back again with my do-it-yourself uh, Les Paul. Just wanted to show you guys I've got the uh, orange on here now. And I'm going to be doing the uh, the wine. Okay, so it's I got it at the right shade that I want. And uh, I think I've got about two or three coats. It's really thinned out, so there's really no build on it. It's just to get the just to get the color and the depth so you can kind of see you can still see the uh, the flame in it and stuff like that so all right I'm gonna do the red now or the wine and then I will uh, I'll be back okay guys I just wanted to show you one more thing here you can kind of see I mean this is spread now but it's you can kind of see how thin it is on the bottom this is uh, all I had was maybe oh, I'm going to say quarter teaspoon of of uh, of this uh, wine uh, concentrate. So I'm just going to show you here what I do. I use my uh, my cellulose lacquer here, and I'm just going to put. I'm just using a spoon. I'm just going to put probably about you know, five or six tablespoons in here. You could pour it, but then it just makes a mess, you know. Okay, so that's it for that. Now you can kind of see here. Then I'm going to thin it out with some lacquer thinner. Like I say, it's going to be really, really thin. You know, and you want it to be thin because you don't want you want it to atomize. You don't want to have like little droplets of color coming out of your gun. It's got to be very, very fine. And that's what will give you that nice blend and the and the burst. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. I'm going to get it mixed up and uh, get that on there, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, hey I got done the top, the burst is done, I don't know if you like it, it looks fantastic. Now I gotta very carefully clean off the, well, I can turn my screen again here so I can see what the hell is on my screen. starting to come together now. But now I gotta clean this binding. <laughs> this is not a lot of fun here. Very, very carefully. Very carefully. One slip up, that's it. Game over. Yeah. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Yeah, it turned out really good. It's really, really close to the picture that I had. Except the black. My black's a little more prominent than what was in that picture, but it looks it still looks really good. Really good. God, I think I might have to get my glasses here. My eyes are not the best. That's for sure. I think I'm gonna have to take the tape off because I got it. I got the tape protruding up too far. I'm going to take this tape off here. Everything else is ready to spray, so as soon as I get this binding, 
cleaned up and then I can get the rest of it sprayed up here. So it's coming along. We'll probably end up putting a couple coats, three coats, four coats, and then I'll sand it and then I'll put another two, three coats and then I'll, I'll probably do that until it's to the point where I got it looking where I want it. Could be another maybe eight, eight more coats of lacquer but there's a lot of sanding and stuff in between so okay now that's better. And now I can actually see the edge of the binding. Yeah, she looks good. Get rid of this tape here. She's looking mighty fine, mighty fine. This is the part where you got to be really, really careful. Don't slip. I wouldn't recommend doing this on your first build. <laughs> do something a little simpler. Or if you're going to do this, well, I don't know if they do have kits with no binding. I'm going to have to check into that. Because then you could do like a studio, right? You wouldn't have to worry about doing the binding right now. It is a nightmare. The blade works really good, but see, nice and clean, nice and clean. Just got to be extremely careful and take your sweet time, people. The surface is a little bit rough right now and I don't want to mar it up because I'm not going to sand it. I'm just going to clear it. I'll just tack it a bit and then clear it. I was going to put a coat of clear on it but I didn't want to build this edge up too much here with this binding deal. It just makes it difficult to clean. It's kind of neat because underneath the, on the edge of the binding kind of gives it a little, a little more texture. It's pretty cool. There's a faint yellow because it's you know you keep adding the layers and it builds up higher than what the binding is. So I can see a tiny, tiny, very small yellow. Stripe, you got to get right up to it to see it, but it looks pretty neat actually. Sometimes the things that look the best are the things that are by accident. Uh, 
Oh yeah. So once I put the first couple coats of lacquer on here, it's still going to look rough because there's texture on here now from the blending in the different colors and whatnot. So it does leave a little bit of texture, but once I sand those, once I'm done with the first, I'll probably put about three or four coats on, and then I'll sand it, and then it's going to look like something once I start going over it again after that. corner here really sucked. The binding was really thin right here. Okay, it's coming along. It'll probably take me about another 20 minutes, so I'm going to stop the video and then I'll uh, come back once I got that cleaned up and ready to go after that. Alright, later.